that's right, yeah. Hello, Michigan. This is Mikey Evans. I'm in sunny Las Vegas now, but I wanted to encourage everyone to vote yes on Proposal 1 this November election. The MCC and many normal members have worked hard to get this bill to the citizens. Now let's get motivated. Get your yard signs this Saturday and please show your support. Remember, our arguments are easy to state. This proposal is only to help the sick and dying, not to create a legal market for adults. This proposal is very limited in scope and strictly to specific diseases and conditions and must be doctor recommended. Patients and caregivers must grow in a locked chamber under very limited conditions. A maximum of 12 plants. A maximum of 2.5 ounces on hand. No redistribution is allowed, nor is there legal protection for breaking these restrictions. The program will be monitored by the state and county medical departments and should be easy to understand, even for the most dense law enforcement officers or lying politicians. Even those medical persons who are beholden to the pharmaceutical industry have trotted out the usual rebuttals. Let's look at those. What about the children? Well, what about the children? The data from every single state in the USA with medical marijuana programs shows that teenage use goes down and stays down. Kids don't think it's cool to smoke grandma's medicine. Two, smoking tobacco is bad for you. Therefore, smoking marijuana must also be bad for you. The law does not specify smoking as the way for one to get their medicine. It specifically used the word use, which allows for clean vaporization. It specifies the word use, which allows for edibles and tinctures. According to Dr. Donald Tashkin, the U.S. government's number one marijuana cancer researcher, there is no link between marijuana use and cancer. No link between neck cancer, not head cancer, not oral cancer, neither breast nor lung cancer. His in-depth research actually showed a negative correlation between marijuana use and cancer. In conclusion, although the polls show at this time that Michigan's citizens approve of this law, now is not the time to be complacent. Drive your family and friends to the polls if they can't get there on their own. It's time, people. It's time to stand up for those citizens who cannot stand up on their own. Let's get her done. Now back to you, Greg.